was a pretty unproductive day for me. I kind of just like hung out and lounged around. Um, I needed a day of relaxation, so that's good. But uh, right now I am slowly but surely heading to Palm Springs to meet up with my buddies Cody and Brittany. And I'm going to have an awesome pool day tomorrow. We're going to have a good time. So um, traffic right now in LA, it's like 8 o'clock and it's like terrible right now. So I don't even know. It's supposed to like, there's supposed to be like a rush hour, but I think rush hour is just forever in the city. It's ridiculous. So I'll be on the road for a few hours and uh, then I'm going to get to Palm Springs and I'm going to have a blast. So I will be seeing you guys soon. Oh yeah, skateboarding at night. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, guys? Dude, I will die if I try. You're good. Look at this. Whoop. Look at them dogs. Look at them dogs. Stay. Stay. Hi, pups. Stay. Stay. Hi, Rev. How you doing, Rev? Hi, boy. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Riot. Oh, gosh, Rev. Rev. You're crazy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, what a long drive, but uh, I think I'm gonna try to skateboard. I'll probably bust my butt. But most, ow, ooh, ooh, bye. <laughs> it's necessary. It's me, but It's a good trick. Tonight is a blue moon. It's a full moon. I'm not sure why they call it a blue moon. You know why they call it a blue moon? I'm not sure either. But I do know when I was driving here for, to Palm Springs from LA, it was like cresting over the horizon and it was like the biggest I've ever seen the moon. It was crazy, but there were a lot of clouds too, so I didn't get to like stop and take any photos of it. But right now, I set up my tripod because I want to try to get some shots of the moon. And uh, I already set the settings because I wanted to make sure, test everything out, make sure it was all good. But right now we're looking at um, 1250th of a second, F8. And I think my ISO is at 500. So um, I have it on tripod, even though it's like a 1250 of a second, it's pretty fast shutter speed. I could handhold it, um, but I want it on tripod so I can like use a remote shutter release just so there's no shaking or anything like that. So let's see what we, what we can do here. Let's go. If it wants to go, there we go. And there we have the moon. And as you can see, that's the moon. Yay! So the moon's pretty bright. Um, like when it's full, especially, it's gonna be really bright. So you really wanna use like a higher shutter speed. And I'm using a 300 millimeter, um, like manual focus, like piece of garbage lens that I have. Um, I never use it for anything else other than like stuff like this. I actually took that one hummingbird picture that I put on the Instagram with this, oddly enough. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Like it's so hard to focus this lens because it's all manual and it like doesn't let you autofocus anything. Um, but you never want to shoot under like this is 70 to 300 and right now I'm at 300 millimeters So you never want to shoot lower than the focal length So you wouldn't want to shoot like a 200th of a second or a 100th of a second because it's gonna be blurry um, And it's not gonna really work out You always want to like you always want to try to double the focal length with your shutter speed just to make sure you get a nice sharp photo So in this case I bumped the ISO up a little bit to 500 just to make sure that it was crystal clear and everything was good and uh, Check out this photo that I took of the moon right now there you go that's a full moon boom so it's getting to be that time of the night we're hanging out watching bar rescue right now such a good show such a good show right uh, but I think I'm probably gonna hit the hay soon so I just wanted to say good night thank you guys so much for watching and checking out how you do some pictures of the moon and I'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early in the morning all right see you later